Hi, Charlie Gangloff here with Charlie's Farmer's Market, and today I'm going to show you how to rebuild your carburetor on your 1940s John Deere tractor. You know what, though? Uh, before we get to that, let's answer some of the questions that we've had on Facebook and in the store about pomegranates. Well, pomegranates uh, are believed to be around since the beginning of time. In the biblical story of Adam and Eve, the so-called forbidden apple that wasn't allowed to be eaten was actually a pomegranate. You may hear some people refer to them as Chinese apples, which is another name for them also. They are believed to be cultivated first in what is now known today as the uh, uh, Iran and Iraq area of the world, and they were brought to the United States sometime in the 1700s with Spanish settlers. So, if pomegranates have been around since the beginning of time, then why is it just recently that they've, that they've popped up on everybody's radar? Well, somebody decided to do some research and testing on them and found out that they are one of the absolute best foods we can eat for our bodies, mostly because of their high content of antioxidants, which help our immune system fight off disease. Now, pomegranates were also added to the superfood list, which is a, a huge list of foods, not just produce and vegetables, that does marvelous things for our body. One of the top things is it helps fight against the agents that cause cancer. Also, can help you lose weight in your daily nutritional diet and helps lower cholesterol. So if lowering uh, cholesterol and fighting against cancer doesn't get you on a super, super food list, then I don't know what does. So, all right, enough about history, enough about why it's good for you. Let's get to the main question. Charlie, how the heck do I eat this thing? Well, I'll give you two ways. I'll give you the quick and easy way and then I'll give you the best way to eat it. So pomegranates, the first thing you really want to keep in mind when you're cutting up a pomegranate is you want to avoid cutting into the seeds. You can have a mess, number one, it stings closed, and number, number three, you'll actually lose some of the seeds because all of the flavor is in the juice around the seed. So simple, easy way, slice around with a knife, being careful just to get the skin, crack it open and start eating. Now, the best way is to use the actual pomegranate to help you, okay? You'll see here, if you just get a sharp knife and you cut around in a circle, you're gonna cut the top off of it, all right? Then, you'll see, looking at the pomegranate, that there's actually grooves going around the pomegranate. So, you don't have to hit an exact spot, you just wanna slice from the top down, and you're kind of just scoring the skin. It's up to you, make about six, eight slices. The more you make, the easier it's gonna peel, but you don't have to go crazy. And then, just slice off a little bit of the bottom that you can see we've already done here. All right? Now, you have the top open, the bottom sliced, you've scored all the sides, get a bowl, and it will literally just pop right open. Now, pomegranates are in season from fall into the winter, usually around September to January. That's the best time to get them. There is some that come in in uh, our spring and summertime. They're imported from South America, mostly Chile. So to get the best health benefits out of a pomegranate, you really do want to eat it raw. But in the off season, there's plenty of other things out there like pomegranate juices, all kinds of things that'll help you get the same nutritional value out of it. So, thanks again for staying tuned to Charlie's. Please stay tuned for more how-tos.